If user can click on the edit button, he can navigate to the edit route. Let's start implementing the edit action. Open the invoice view component.html file. Here we need to add that. I'm going to add the router link directive. Router link. It will accept the array. The first path is dashboard. Invoices. We need to provide the ID. I can use that invoice dot id let me implement that there is a problem here you can see that it did not select the client let me show you let's say i would like to view this invoice and i would like to edit that let's say it did not select the client let me show you how to fix this problem open the invoice form component.ts let me put the debugger here if you will see the invoice let me show you let's say i would like to edit this invoice cool it has stopped at the breakpoint aha here we have invoice now you can see that invoice is an object what we are doing so the type of the client string we must need to provide the id in the string format the problem is that we are providing the object because we have set the this dot patch value here i need to provide the client id did you see that here we have client object so let me show you how to fix this problem so we need to update a patch value method i need to provide manually values the first one is item this dot invoice dot item qty this dot invoice dot qty date this dot invoice dot date due date this dot invoice dot due and i also have rate this dot invoice dot rate and text this dot invoice dot text and one last thing which is the most important client now we need to get the client id this dot invoice dot client where is the client I need to add in the client here client dot id so we need to add into the model class because i got the response client object so open the invoice model we also need to add the client here the type is client now you will see the client id let's try to test that let's try to do it now it is going to set the values manually here we have client id here we have client the client has selected now let me debug that i'm going to show you again let's say i would like to edit this invoice let me view that i would like to edit that I caught the error I did something wrong here I would like to edit that cool her client has selected now if you check it again let's say I would like to view this invoice okay I would I'm gonna edit that cool I also need to update the height and the width of the material card let me update that invoice view let me change to 500 now it looks good client has selected now 
I also need to do a little bit refactoring here. If there is no client in the invoice, Angular will give you the undefined error. I forgot to add the logic to handle this error. Let me show you how can you do that. Let me do it here. If there is a client in the invoice, then we need to add this client to the form. I can use this same method this dot invoice form dot patch value. Here we need to set the client. I can get the client ID from the invoice invoice dot client dot ID. Let me remove this client. Let me try to test that. I need to go to the local host colon 4200 here I also need to do a little bit refactoring my code is not working because token has expired you can see that I have JWT token let me remove this one token has expired so if token has expired and we receive 401 response from the server we need to navigate the user to the login route. So how can you fix it? Open the HTTP interceptor or token interceptor. Here you need to handle the logic here. You can use the do operator. It will accept the event. Type should be any. The first argument is event. And the type is HTTP event HTTP event I'm gonna choose any it is not going to do anything here the second argument is error here we need to handle the error if error instance of HTTP error response If error dot status is equals to 401, then we need to remove the token from the local storage. I'm going to call this method destroy token. And finally, we need to navigate the user to the login route. I can use the navigate method. Let me provide the commands here. It will accept the array. I'm going to provide the login command. Make sure you import the do operator from the RxJS library. I'm going to import the do operator rxjs operator rxjs slash add operator and I would like to add the do operator 